Now, let's talk about you. I sense there's something you want to ask me. I do. I have a... proposal for you. A proposal? <laughs> if you're hoping to taste my blood, little vampling, think again. It burns hotter than wyvern whiskey. This is serious business. Devil. <laughs> my old but Oh, hi. I can be close to you now, without fear. Without thinking too hard. We can just... be. No more than anyone else. Well, maybe slightly more. But that's the past now. I'm free. More free than I've ever been now. Alright. Hey, you. Sounds boring. Oh. Yep. I'll be laughing. Ripping force mail, force absorption, gain force conduit when taking slashing. Here. Please, I just want to be alone. Gone. Cultists. It was so dark. All they right. They rounded us up. Got I it. To get away. But my love, I've always been. I didn't realize. I just wish I could have said goodbye. Not unless you can... Can you? It's hard to imagine. <laughs> Alright. Fine. I'll find him. Never wanted the easy path. Alright. Let's go talk to Zahira. Oh, we can talk to Rafael first. Right. Your move, Maul. You trap me! I didn't even want to take this one. Kalim Shan rules, dear. The first piece touched is the first piece moved. That's garbage! No matter where the night goes, I'm gonna lose it! Then make the sacrifice useful. Guard your Mistra, or come for my Cyric. Hmm. Look who made it! For once, I saved your butt out there, didn't I? Where's square now, Chief? Say, do you play lance ball by any chance? It's my first time playing. Always laid a fine trap for you, Mole. It looks to me like his Cyric could be dethroned. <laughs> How's that for Callum Sham rules? Brava. Lovely work. I see I was right to make you the offer I did. You will consider it, won't you? What a lovely specimen she is. A blushing apple begging to be plucked. She cheated, of course, but that's half her charm. All right. Uh, what of the other half? My favorite kind, ambition. But don't you worry about Moll. It goes without saying, she still has the unconditional freedom to choose the only option she has left. Now, let's talk about you. I sense there's something you want to ask me. I do. I have a... 
proposal for you. A proposal? <laughs> if you're hoping to taste my blood, little vampling, think again. It burns hotter than wyvern whiskey. This is serious business. Devil. <laughs> my old but A long time ago, someone carved infernal ruins into my back. They're a fragment of a contract. I'd like to know what the full contract says. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's bluff him. Let's bluff him. I don't think he knows. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's something very important to your master, but is it a love letter, a warning, or a deed of ownership? I could give you all the gory details. But of course, you'll have to do something for me first. Of course. Let me think about it and get back to you. You'll get back to me? This is important, devil. When? Don't worry. I'm motivated to help you. Scars? often tell such wonderful stories. I think yours might be truly exquisite. I'll see you soon. Premium trinkets and doodads! All right. Let's take that. Let's take that. Let's talk to him. Check it out. We've gone legitimate, and Mole put me in charge. What do you need? Hmm. I'm not supposed to mention it to anyone, but I do have something pretty special in stock. A key. Okay. What does it look like? What does it open? What treasures await behind its lock? That's for one lucky buyer to find out. Maul gave it to me and said I shouldn't let it go to just any old jack a day. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, let's do that. I mean, maybe. Nice. But she put me in charge of the shop. I, I thought... <sighs> Never mind. Here. You can have it then. Alright. Like best bargains, right Power here! Power shipped yeah. key. Wait. If we're called, we join you. What are you looking for? I'm alive, ain't I? What's not to like? Thank God. Thought you'd be ten yards tall the way Zevlor spoke of you. Ceres, Scout. Seems we missed one another at the Grove, but the others told me how you helped us. A pity. You pulled them from one death trap only for me to land them in this one. Aye. Not a battle she's likely to put to song. Maybe we should have just surrendered. Zevlor begged us to. But... They were toying with us. Making examples. And we'd had enough of taking it. All Those right. of us who cut free just kept running till we found this place. The others... Maybe the cult got them. Maybe the curse. Have hope you survived, I'm sure so the beast. Zevlor had hope. It didn't save him. A little sense will serve us better, I think. But All right. thanks. It was sweet of you to try. Alright, let's take that. But I will it. Alfira. You're all right, thank goodness. I was worried they got you too. 
I'm afraid doubt is all I know these days. Mm. I still can't believe it. The cultists. The screams. Roland of all people. Saved us. He said he stayed in the grove because of you. I'm damn glad of it. Without him. Well, none of us would be here. Well, that's nice. Yes. He shielded me and the kids. While his brother and sister rushed the cultists. Cal and Leo were dragged away. Along with the others. Roland isn't... Taking it so well. None of us are, to be honest. How I'll... do you do it? How do you keep going? You make it sound so easy. But I'll try. You've done so much for us already. But I have to ask. The others might still be out there. If they're not dead, they're in Moonrise. And gods have mercy on anyone in that hell's pit. Thank you. Just be careful up there. All right? Good. Mole. Nice strategy back there. If we put our heads together, I bet you and me can make a tidy stack of coin in Baldur's Gate. Mm -hmm. But Raphael's offered me a partnership already, and it seems like a sweeter deal than throwing my lot in with you. Let's try the persuasion. Nice. You... You aren't joking. Oh, I kind of believe him more now than I did a minute ago. What? Protection for me and my kids, that's all. Okay. Her smile is broad, her eyes twinkling. Her face, the very picture of innocence. She's clearly lying. But I haven't accepted nothing yet. Sounds like you're in deeper than I am. Nice. And also, when we get there, I'd be head of the Thieves' Guild. <laughs> I don't know, devil stuff? What matters is, I can keep my kids safe. Everyone else has let them down. But I won't. All right. Look, you saved us. Not knocking that. But after you left, Zevlor lost his nerve. Gave up the fight. I won't. Now there's no grove, no coin, no one taking us to the city. I'm not letting my crew get eaten by shadows. Maybe I'll make a deal, maybe I won't. But it'll be my choice, not the devil's, and not yours. All right. Fine. Got it. There's another bottle of Arabellan Dry back there. Put it on the bar, then piss off and leave me alone. Jahira said we should serve drinks, but that we shouldn't serve drunks. Hey. Jahira didn't save your ragged little tail from the cultists. I did. Cute. Maybe she'll write a ballad about me. Hey. She can leave out the part where my brother and sister were dragged away screaming while I was saving the orphans. If you hadn't filled their heads with all that self-righteous heroic crap at the Grove, none of this would have happened. Dead for all I know. Or in the cult's tower with the others who were taken.
They're my responsibility. You go save the world. Or your own ass. Or whatever it is you do. I'll fix this. All right. Careful, I bite. <laughs> Easy. Hey. And yet you harm me by your very presence. This is my territory, and you're in it. Mm, I'll allow it. Hey. Good of you to notice. For my part, I have noticed the cleric is a liar. She promised me a bit of milk. Do you see any milk, do you? <laughs> Not do I, disgraceful. I slinked, of course. You've had enough, now go. Quickly, yes. <laughs> What's the perception? If you have an alternative, it's ah. Premium trinkets to do that. Okay, let's Is take that. that. Awesome. Isn't that there is an emerald ring? Map of the shadow. Let's talk to her. Let's go. Please. Be welcome. Have a drink. To your very good health. Uh huh. Uh. Roll again. Nice. You perceive a faint hint of cloth grass, a herb that is said to elicit the truth. Jahira smiles at you knowingly. <laughs> it doesn't spoil the taste if that's what you're wondering. You will be refreshed. And I will be reassured. You don't know what you're missing. <laughs> well over a century old and yet it hasn't lost a hint of flavor. Still not quite so sure about you though. People tend to lose more than just flavor when illithids get their hands on them. I speak from experience. As an air about you, something alien. Answer me true and do not lie. The parasite is changing you, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> Let's do that. Just answer the question. Let's let's be honest. Look around you. Good men, good women. Stranded here, two feet in the grave. If we're to survive, I have no choice but to trust you. Can I? Yes. Good. Because I'll cross your heart myself if you break it. I have every reason to be cautious. I've traced people like you. 
people with parasites in their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. The cult of the Absolute is spreading through the city. Quietly, quickly, and with unsettling deliberation. We tracked them to this ancient village, only to be faced with a man we killed and buried over a century ago. General Gadric Thorm. Remember that name. He's the leader of the Absolutists. Got it. He was a Sharan once. Took to building an army of dark justiciers beneath this very village. Alongside the local druids, we made it our business to see him deposed, dead and buried. But he's returned. Not only does General Catherick Thorn live again, it seems he is no longer mortal. He has become, in fact, invincible. How? We met him on the road here. Commanding an army of the Absolute, intent on destroying Baldur's Gate. I put an arrow through his eye myself. Only to watch him pluck it out like a splinter. He healed right in front of me and chased us into the shadows. Things looked hopeless. But experience has taught me that no matter how bleak things look, there's always hope. All right. You are that hope. Protected by your artifact, you can infiltrate his forces at Moonrise Towers, posing as a true soul. Find out what it is that makes him invincible, so we can strip him of his advantage. Once Gatherick is without his shield, the sword, Together, we assault his tower and put a final end to this blight. All right. Without a cure for your infection, your days are number two. Yet you selflessly offer to spend them fighting alongside us. I like you. Okay. I promise I will do everything I can to make sure you survive this. Any cure starts with understanding the disease. Whatever magic Gatherick's using to control these tadpoles, it must be at Moonrise. All right. Until then, we keep drinking wine when we meet. You're not our only secret weapon. Isabel, a faithful cleric of Seluna, and a light in the darkness. She cast the moon shield around the inn. It's the only reason we're still alive. What about the lantern? She's upstairs in her chambers. Tell her I sent you, and she'll see you through the shadows safely. I am sorry. Where is the lantern, buddy? All right, so I'm not sure where the lantern I get it, but. I guess I can't. Uh, so anyway, so protection from the shadow curse. Uh, rescue Tifling, find Zevlar. So that's fine. Still won't speak. Just keeps going with the bloody song. Nothing of use on his person. His original writ of duty, signed by Eltan himself. Fella must be one of the very first flaming fist. He must know something. Let's not give up on him yet. I don't suppose you found a way into the towers. Mm. I trust you will do everything you can to free the Duke. But in case you don't find a way, I'll be heading to Baldur's Gate to seek reinforcements. All right. The council sent a carrier pigeon with news that the city has been dealing with absolutist attacks. The Steel Watch is holding strong. I'll request that Lord Gortash send some of them to aid in the fight against Moonrise. The curse won't harm them. You know the name Gortash. A counselor with considerable influence on Baldurian industry and politics. But he is no lord. Lord Gortash is the man responsible for the creation of the Steel Watch. It's no wonder he earned the title. All right. The Steel Watch are the future of warfare. 
Gondian automatons that can be sent into battle without risking any lives, except those of our enemies. Okay. Lord Gortash had only completed work on the prototypes before Ravengard and I left for Elteral, but even they were formidable. With the steel watch at our backs, we can storm the tower whatever Ketherick throws at us. I'm sure of it. All right. I'll do my best, but there's every chance I'll fall to the curse of all the cult before I reach the city. Don't count on me and assume no aid is coming. Work with Jahira. That harper's mind is as sharp as her blade. Follow her guidance. Farewell. We'll meet again, God's willing. We're discussing fist business, and you're no fist. Okay. An extra blade could be the difference between rescuing Duke Ravengard or losing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Heard you're meant to be heading okay. toward the towers. With a single word, Floric could charge the coast's most powerful force with taking back the Grand Duke. We ought to be doing just that, not babysitting this stump. Cool. And yet, orders are orders. Flame color. That's your name, isn't it? Art color? I'm Fistula. <laughs> Daniel and me are climb, climb, climbing up a tree. We, we need you, sir. One of our own's been taken, a Grand Duke. You might know something that could help us bring him back. All right. We found him out in the shadows, just wandering. Nothing survives out there for long. Don't know how he made it or where he came from. This is no physical ailment. It is a spiritual malaise. The man's mind has been gripped by the shadow fell, yet it has not broken. No idea, I'm afraid. Whoever it is must be someone important to him. He's been saying the same thing over and over ever since we found him. You hear me, don't you, sir? You might not be able to answer, but you hear me. Uh-huh. A century locked inside a shar and curse will do things to a man. But you're not alone, sir. We're here with you. And I'm sure you've got relations, maybe some long-lived friends even, who want to be seeing you. All right. Oh, if you know how to get through to him, don't hesitate. <laughs> He spent a long time in the shadow, Fal. A Sharon realm without color or light. It's had a terrible effect on him. Mm. His mind lingers in the shadow, Fel, but perhaps it can be returned. We need to remind him who he is. Some personal effects, maybe. I Lost see. in the shadows all this time. He must have left some part of himself behind. Something we can use. Hmm. His fingertips sport calluses and toughened skin, as if from manual labor, or playing a stringed instrument, perhaps. This was in his pocket. He doesn't seem to have any reaction to it now, but he held on to it for a hundred years anyway. If he does, he isn't sane. All right. One letter. House of Healing, okay. So he was at the House of Healing. 